It's a curly-haired spaniel. No, Holmes, please, how could you possibly know that? Because I'm looking out the window and see the dog on our doorstep now. Baskerville is an adaptation of the Sherlock Holmes story, The Hound of the Baskervilles, Sir Conan Doyle's most popular Holmes stories. I tell you, Watson, this time we have a foeman worthy of our steel. It involves two of the great mythic characters in all of English literature, Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. They're the beginning of a crime-fighting duo, and they've created in their wake a whole genre. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Baskerville has to do with a baronet who lives on the moors in Devon, and he is murdered mysteriously. There's an absence of motive. Sherlock Holmes is called into the case and has to discover who killed him, why, and does this mean death for any of Sir Charles's heirs? There's a feverish quality to this unlikely tale that appeals to me. The twist I tried to turn on it is, how can you tell a story as big as that on a stage? And the answer for me was to make the cast all the smaller. So it's told with five actors, one plays Holmes, one plays Watson, and the other three actors play 43 characters. From a hat, you're one guy, to a scarf, you're a girl with a different accent. And the fun of watching actors transform is I think one of the greatest joys in the theater. So in a way, the play is meant to be as much about the theater as it is about these two guys named Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. The cast of Baskerville is an amazing ensemble. They really understand how to strike that balance between the comic mayhem and the adventure. What excites me about directing Baskerville is the opportunity to put an audience in a theater and give them a story that scares them, that excites them, that makes them wonder about how people are capable of doing such horrible things and such wonderful things. It's filled with comedy, it's filled with adventure, and it's a once-in-a-lifetime happening in the world of Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. So it couldn't be more exciting.